This is my whole plan. I needed these connected. No. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some space engineers in the NID whitelist server. So today, um, I've done. I've been doing a bunch of work off camera. Uh, first and foremost, I want to say this is my new plan. I would like to try and do two episodes of this a week, and it's. Uh, it's already been a lot of work, but I really want to try and keep this up. Um, you're going to notice a bunch of, a few new things going on around here right now. Um, I did have a bunch of great comments in the last uh, video about the work that was being done on this, on this guy here. Now you'll see that I've actually uh, undone a bunch of work um, because there is a new plan. So I, I mentioned that we had, or I had uh, been come across a, a different, slightly different design for how this could work, thanks to Nordic Beast. Um, and I worked out a new design that I think will work way better than what we've got going on here. And it's kind of a, a bit of both of what I had before and that other new design that we mentioned then. Um, I know David Agar... <laughs> Ag Agari? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sorry again. Um, or David. I'll just call you David. Uh, uh, mentioned that, you know, hey, wh why do the same thing that somebody else has already done? Uh, do something new. And you're right. We should definitely do something new. But I like kind of merging the two ideas um, into something better because the design I had with the pistons all coming in and out, the, the, the downside, the huge downside to that one was that you had to fly your ship back and forth a bunch of times and, and weld it from the inside out. And while that probably would be really cool the first time that you saw it, um, it will take a lot of time and ultimately would, would be kind of probably annoying for people using this constructor base. Um, uh, so, so I kind of wanted to merge both designs. So I've got, I've got a, an idea for that. Uh, he also mentioned, David also mentioned that, uh, you know, when I was building the welder guy over here, that um, I don't need a Kickstarter, uh, where is it, this guy? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, work has been done on him too. We'll talk about this in a minute. Um, uh, I don't need the Kickstarter reactor on this guy. And he's, he's bouncing a bit. Um, with, uh, when it was like connected to the, um, projector here, right? Because it's getting power from the station. Very true. And you're right, if, if that was the only reason that I had it on there. The other reason I have it on here, though, too, is uh, just in case, for whatever reason, um, I'm a complete dolt and uh, let myself run completely out of um, uranium inside of the connected ones in here, as well as like the reactors in here, as well as the batteries. I let them completely run dry. And then I have no power. At least this way, I always have a way to put some in. That's kind of one of the main reasons why I do that. Uh, uh, the other thing that uh, David was saying too about using the wall of welders is yeah, it's a, it's a lot of resources. And you're right, it is. But uh, with my partners in Grind uh, that I do with Sal, resources probably isn't gonna be too much of a problem. We collect a lot of stuff every week. Um, and the last thing is uh, he mentioned the lag issues with overlapping welders. And we had that problem actually with the, and he pointed this out as well, with the, uh, the pistons, they were too close to each other. So I, I tried to do the math and figure out how far apart they needed to be so that we wouldn't have overlapping welding areas. I think I started it out, but uh, when, we, when we build it, you can tell me if I got it right. Um, but uh, hopefully there won't be too much of a lag issue with this. <laughs> and there's, there's Boris, there we go. <laughs> but um but yeah so thank you david for all your comments i think i i got everything that you were saying uh jay also had a comment which uh, jr basically said yes i agree <laughs> i agree with david uh with all his comments so that was that was funny but also very very helpful so i, I think i have a good kind of and you know what? while i'm talking i should be doing the things that we're doing uh the reason this was this color was on here is because i accidentally um uh use thrusters to destroy the front of my ship there and had to rebuild it on from this guy uh, but yeah so let's just while we're talking here about some of the comments I'm gonna build this out so I need uh, I think it was 12 so one two um, but yeah so there's a guy named or somebody named super fun happy Tom that uh, also said that he thought the idea of the wall of welders was a cool idea um, so yeah so we've got a, a merger of the two going on which I like uh, but he also said that maybe tried like a scaled down version of it first to make sure that it works as you expect um, so I, I have done a bit of work in creative 
So uh, Redstone One actually was saying that he liked uh, the new DX11 stuff. So thank you for that comment. I really like it as well. Um, I'm gonna try and keep things lighted so that uh, that lighting is uh, hopefully a problem for everybody. Um, as you'll see that on, I've updated a lot of the designs of my ships now too to have uh, spotlights pointing in all directions so that I get light and I increase the radius and I hope that helps. Uh, he also mentioned though that spotlights and interior lights have a different functionality, right? The uh, spotlights work more like flashlights where they have a straight beam going straight out in one direction. Um, whereas interior lights work more like uh, a torch, right? Where it, where it has light going in all kind of in all directions out of it. So that's, I didn't realize that. So that's actually really helpful, thanks. So this guy has spotlights going in all directions. So yeah, they're going like, it's literally just beaming straight out like a flashlight. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so that's cool. This will all make sense in a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how, how I'm doing one of these and then I'm gonna try and do a bunch of them uh, off camera later. And, and then she kind of, I'm hoping to show you kind of like a finished product here. But we'll see how much time, I might be running out of time. But uh, what if we got everything we need for that. But yeah, so that's what uh, he was also. Uh, Redstone One was also saying uh, he liked the method of using the pulse, right, where you um, uh, let the ship kind of give it a quick pulse and then and then like turn the dampers off and, and cruise through. Uh, the so there's yeah there's a bunch of different options that we talked about last time, right? We have the the waypoint system. He also mentioned the GPS as well has a safe mode or. A, a slow mode, I guess, where it tries to like take slow it down so it doesn't miss the the spot. The spot. So I'll have to give that a go for sure as well. Uh, so if I now try and line this up without destroying the world, uh, without destroying the world here. All right. So the ship I'm using right now is what I'm calling the Jackal's Crane, right? Because it's basically a space crane. <laughs> um, and the design behind this is literally what you're seeing right now. So I'm basically using it as something that I can use to line up and place things in, get, get things into place. And the reason we're doing this is because I want the, the pistons down here to all be on the grid together and all move together. So let's try and line this up and it's getting dark. This is one of the downsides to uh, working inside of an asteroid in DX11. I'm gonna have to widen this. I'm probably gonna have to widen this before I even do this. Uh, for now, I guess, because I've got the other bar there that connects everything up. So if I just delete this stuff for the moment. Just enough to get my ship through. I already knew I have to, I'm gonna have to widen this out anyway. to finish placing this. Now, we have to be really careful about how we do this because when I was testing this out in, in Creative, this works and it seemed to work every time. And then one time I tried to connect them and I ripped the heads of the uh, pistons off, which was really interesting. And I should probably put some lights down in here as well, huh? I think that looks like it's kind of lined up. But this here, wrong button. So let's try and line that up a bit. Ah, darn it. Wrong uh, why are we moving? Stop, 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 stop. Oh my god, stop. Something's stuck. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. The ship is just flying on its own. Get out for a minute. Stop doing what you're doing, please. I almost had it too. Okay, so I think I have this lined up. Let's slowly. Okay, no. Why are you moving up? Why are you doing this? Well, that was interesting. As soon as they get closed, the whole ship just started moving on its own. It started rotating and then boom. Well, 
Now the whole ship blew up. <laughs> this is not going well. This is not going well at all. Alright, let me fix things up and we'll try this again. Okay, we're trying this again. Why are you doing this? It's like they're being pushed away from each other. I don't understand why it's doing this. Thinking there's something with the uh, desync. Does this work great? Um, when I was trying this in the in a creative world, but this ain't working very well here. As soon as they go yellow, they start to like push away from each other because of the whole ship to sway and force it off in a direction. When, I, when I'm moving, it's not moving at all. Like I'm not doing anything, sorry. Like it's, it's moving, but I'm not actually doing anything. Let's try this again. Because you know, the definition of insanity is to try the same thing over and over again and expect a different result. I'm hoping I can just, if I line them up just right, I'm gonna try and just get really close, really fast. No, well, not really fast, but. All right, let's, uh... come on, come on. Come on, 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 come on. Hook it! Connect them! And it's just pushing it down. I'm, I'm actually pushing the power to go up. And it's not, it's just forcing it down. <laughs> no. Why doesn't this work? This is my whole plan. I needed these connected. No. Then no. It stops as soon as the last yellow light goes away. Oh my gosh. This game. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't gonna work, I guess. In multiplayer, you can't do this for some reason. Well, well, stinker. Well, here was my plan. I was gonna hook these up so that they were all on the same grid and then they could go up together and I was actually gonna do three rows of these. So one, two, and three, and then on the same side, on over here, one, two, and three. And then they would all go up together. And then I was gonna put, so that you can still retract and pull it back and forth. And then I was gonna put the welders on the sides of those in a in a configuration that I'd figured out with Nordic Beast, who helped me out a lot, actually, trying to figure out how to lay out the welders. Um, so that it could actually get everything inside of here. And it was perfect in my creative world. Uh, <laughs> it worked awesome. So, uh, uh, this is, this stinks. Um, I don't know what to do here. And this was my plan for this episode. I don't, uh, the, so the last thing that we need to talk about, I guess, is uh, over here, um, Elemental Blaze 79 uh, mentioned that if I put um, medium cargo containers in here instead of the straight uh, conveyors then I would get more storage out of it so I did that so thank you very much elemental for that um, and I did hook them up correctly don't worry um, the uh, I, I modified this guy as well so that he's got you know um, welders on the bottom and grinders on the top so I could actually do both work while I'm working away it was actually really helpful when I'm getting free oh yeah that's the pieces that fell off of that um, uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, okay, well, I guess that's the end of... I'm going to have to play with this more in, in survival, maybe, and see if I can get this to hook up. If you guys uh, have any ideas 
if this is just like multiplayer problems and I just can't do this, let me know. Uh, if there's another method that you know of that maybe you can tell me how to how to get these to connect like I want them to, so they're all on the same grid, let me know. Um, so what I'll do now is uh, I'm going to cut away, but I will uh, jump into my creative world and I want to show you what the finished product was going to be, or at least half of the finished product. I only did one side of it to make sure that it worked, but. Um, but here, let, let me jump over there. I'll show you what it's going to look like uh, and that this actually did work in creative. And, uh, and then uh, we'll call it an episode after that. But so stay, stay tuned. I'll be right back. Hey, guys. So welcome back. Uh, here is, I'm in a creative world that I was playing with with Nordic. So there's a bunch of stuff just all laying around in here as well. But um, like some of his ships. Uh, but, but this is basically what I was trying to do, right? So here, if we just go and let's reverse these pistons right so they all contract very nice and neat together um, I've got the uh, the welders all nicely um, spread apart so that they, they kind of come together like teeth right and they contract right in and snug like a bug in a rug right they all come back down in here um, uh, Nordic was playing around with you know maybe putting these these airtight doors on top, just as an example of a way that we could close them off. Uh, Boris was suggesting using the, the rotors and the, the doors that open and close. Uh, Nordic thinks that's an absolutely horrible idea because rotors in this game. But yeah, so here, let's expand this back out again. You'll see that, um, so there's the th there's uh, three sets of pistons and they were all, con and it's accidentally deleted a block there, but, um, but yeah, so these were all connected in a single grid. They all moved together. Same with uh, the one above it, right? Uh, these are um, will actually be uh, the conveyor blocks in between in real life, uh, just or in real life in, in a not a creative world. I'll just playing around, same, so that all this stuff would actually be connected up, right? But um, but yeah, so this was the idea, and and talking about uh, the radius, the research that I did uh, says that um, a welder can reach two meters around it, right? Um, and a block is 2.5 meters. So this should be able to get this block and all the way around it, right? Um, so all the way down, it, it'll it get all the way around those. So I put two in between so that they wouldn't cross over each other. Uh, same with this one here, right? Like these point down and these point up. This was Nordic's brilliant idea was to I just have them pointing down to get into the middle area. Uh, and actually it should work because if we bring this up, you can see that this one should get that area right and then this one should get this area right so that they they actually should be able to weld up all around whoops just get rid of that and yeah i am in my creative world so i can just drop blocks right now but um but yeah so that should hopefully mean that that all the space is weldable right between these ones and these ones and uh, all this space just below one block below that as well is all weldable um, and then if we had the same thing on the other side that would come in and they would meet right in the middle you can see here this is the middle piece right they would meet right in the middle here now i would probably have to retract these just a little bit so that there wasn't too much overlap in the middle but um but i think that that would work anyhow this was my plan this is what we were going to be building so i thought i'd show it to you just so you had an idea in your head uh what i was uh trying to construct and you can see it kind of opening and closing uh, so I think I'll leave it here. Uh, you guys let me know if you have any ideas of how to um, get this to work. I, I, I really like this this merger of ideas because this will allow me to take the tug ship, place it right over here, you know, with the with the um, projection behind it, pull it straight through, and it should build the whole thing in one go. And I like that. So um, give me your thoughts and your comments. I'm sorry that this uh, uh, everything broke as much as it did. I wasn't expecting... Uh, the survival mode to make my ship you know fly away from the merge blocks uh, that was a little bit surprising so uh, I will talk to you guys next time I hope you enjoyed I hope you like the idea that I want to try and get two of these out a week so again I will my plan right now is Tuesdays and Fridays there will be a new episode um, and uh, so yeah I hope I hope you like that and we will talk to you guys later